Hello students, welcome to Govidya. So in this session, we will see the thousand important questions part 1, okay. So that means from the network subject, we will see some of the questions, okay. So and as we have already discussed, these are questions from the gate and engineering services or other PSU questions, okay. So let's see the first question. So the question given is, in the circuit of figure, the voltage V of T is, okay. So V of T they are asking and the circuit they have given as, so one current source is here, another current source is here. They are asking V of T, okay. So immediately whenever you see the question, okay. So what they are asking, the voltage V of T, go to V of T, where it is? V of T is here, it is in the inductor, okay. So in inductor, we need the voltage, okay. So in inductor, we need the voltage. So in inductor, what is the voltage? VL equals to L into DI by DT, okay. So L into DI by DT, okay. So I, we need to find out the current in this first, okay. So we need to find out the current. Anyhow, this is the current source and this is also current source. This current will be coming in this branch. This current will be coming in this branch. Both currents will combine and go to in this branch. Okay. So combined current is equals to E power AT plus E power BT. Okay. So this is the complete current I of T function. Okay. So then what you have to find out? See a real value is 1. Okay. So D by DT of D by DT of E power AT plus E power BT, okay. So VL, okay. So voltage across the inductor, VL or V of T, anything is same only, okay. So V of T equals to D by DT, okay. So this is this is a E power AT. So then what is the differentiation? E power AT. For AT, what is the differentiation? A, okay. So plus similarly B into E power BT, okay. So this is the V of T function or voltage across the inductor, okay. So where it is? So option D is the correct answer for this, okay. So A into E power AT plus B into E power BT, okay. So whenever you see this model of question, okay, so what is what they are asking? Voltage, okay. So first we find out the relation for this, then whatever required thing, we need to find out the required thing, okay. Let's see the next question. The dependent current source shown in the figure, okay. So shown in figure. So what it is doing, whether it will deliver or absorb the power, okay, so and power also we need to calculate, okay, so whenever dependent source is there, okay, so whenever dependent source they are giving, so we will understand like, okay, it may be a little bit of difficult, okay, so many of the students, okay, so almost 90% of the students will feel, okay, dependent source came, maybe we can do the wrong answer like that, they may think, okay, so first observe one thing, what they are asking, so how much power it is delivering or how much power it is absorbing, okay, so it is a current source, Sir, it is a current source because it is having certain direction. Okay, no problem. It is having certain direction. Okay. So to find out how much power it is giving or taking, we need to find the voltage in this. Okay. So whenever it is a current source, current value, we know what is the current value? V1 by 5. Okay. So value they have given as V1 by 5. Okay. So leave it where it is V1 letter we can see. Okay. So for now, we need to find out the voltage across this, this current source. Okay. That means between these two terminals, we need to find out the voltage okay so that is the thing okay so then current into voltage will give the power according to the voltage polarity so we can find out whether it is giving the current or whether it is giving the power or taking the power okay so anyhow first of all to find out this okay so let's observe one thing now the dependent source is dependent source is here its value is v1 by 5 okay so what is the v1 value V1 value directly they have given as 20. 20 means 20 divided by 5 is, this is 4 amperes, okay. So that means this is 4 amperes of current. Understand? Eh? So 4 amperes of current. So why do wait, okay. So whenever you get any problem like this, apply, okay. So we need to find out the voltage between these two. I am calling it as V, okay. So let's give the nodal analysis equation, okay. So nodal equation, okay. V minus 20 minus 0, okay. So we can choose this as the ground, okay. So 0 volts. V minus 20 minus 0 divided by 5. V minus 20 minus 0 divided by 5. Okay, so 5 is the resistance in this path, okay, so 5, plus V minus 0 divided by 5, V minus 0 divided by 5, okay, so and one more current is also coming, okay, so it is entering, so we can give it as, okay, so minus, how much, how much current it is, 4 amperes, minus 4 equals to 0, okay, so we need to simplify this, this is V by 5, minus 4, okay, so plus V by 5, 
minus 4 equals to 0. Okay, so 2v divided by 5 is equals to 4 plus 4, 8. Okay, so it will go to other side. Then 2v equals to so 40, v equals to 20. Okay, so 20 volts. Okay, we got directly 20 volt. That means this is plus terminal, this is minus terminal because it's 0. Okay, it's 20 means it is higher voltage plus this is a lower voltage, it is 0. Okay, so that means voltage from here to here is also 20. Okay, so 20 volt it is voltage and current it is giving. Okay, so it is just like a voltage source. Okay, so a voltage source of 20 volt a voltage source of 20 volt it is giving 4 amperes okay it's a similar thing okay so otherwise a current source of 4 amperes across it voltage is 20 volt okay similar thing okay same only okay that means a voltage source is giving the current means it is giving the power that's it okay so giving the power so if the current direction is inside okay so it is towards the voltage source okay that means towards the plus terminal then we can understand it is taking okay so now it is giving the current okay so giving means delivering okay so delivering how much current how much voltage so it is 20 into 4 okay so 20 into 4 is 80 okay so it will deliver 80 watts okay so that's it okay so it is a source okay so it is every time it need not to give the current give the current okay sometimes it may take that means sometimes this voltage source will give the power sometimes voltage sources may take the power okay because that depends upon what depends upon the other sources this current source this dependent current source is delivering power delivering power okay similarly so no need to consider as okay if it is delivering it is taking Taking, don't consider like that okay so other elements are taking definitely this 5 ohms will definitely absorb the power this 5 ohms will absorb the power okay we can calculate how much power it is also giving okay so you can understand how much is the voltage from here to here that is 20 volt okay so 20 volt means how much current will be going inside like this okay so it will be so 20 divided by 5 is 4 amperes that means how much it is giving okay we can calculate each and everything okay so 4 amperes is coming like this and 4 amperes is going like this and remaining branch there is no current okay so that's also we can understand okay so anyhow we can get okay v value we got right okay so v value we got as 20 20 minus 20 divided by 5 is 0 amperes okay 0 amperes is going in this direction okay so that also they may ask okay so that means how much how much power it is delivering zero okay how much power it is absorbing zero okay that means this is not delivering and this is not absorbing also okay so that is the consideration okay so anyhow answer for this question is delivers 80 watts power okay next question in the interconnection of ideal sources shown in the figure it is known that the 60 volt source is absorbing power okay so which of the following can be can be the value of current source i okay so can be the value of current source i okay what they are asking so they have mentioned one condition so know that 60 volt source is absorbing power okay 60 volt source is absorbing power absorbing power means so the current direction must be okay so whenever a voltage source is giving the power current direction will be in this direction okay so like this okay so from the plus it will be coming out okay so this is this is power delivering okay so delivering okay similarly whenever voltage source is taking the power or absorbing the power okay so that means current direction will be in this okay so that means it is absorbing okay so absorbing okay so now what they have mentioned the source is absorbing power okay 60 volt current so 60 volt voltage source is absorbing the power that means current direction will be in this direction okay definitely current value they have not mentioned okay so which of the following can be the value of current source i okay so current source i value they are asking okay i value they are asking okay so how to solve this so there is no other data is you can you cannot write kvl equation you cannot write kcl equation also directly okay so just one thing we can do okay so current direction is like this this 12 ampere current is going in this direction 12 ampere current is going okay so this is also 12 ampere this is also some current it is okay so this is some current 12 amperes is coming some current is going like this so what it is what is other current 
so this must be some current okay so this must be some current at positive current only okay because current direction must be like this means it is taking the power 60 volt is taking the power or absorbing the power means current direction must be like this this is some current okay so that means what is the other current here so 12 ampere or less okay so 12 ampere or less so definitely it is less only okay because Whenever some current is going like this, it must be at least 11.9 amperes or something, okay? So, that means definitely it will be less than, okay? So, current is less than 12 amperes, okay? So, the I current is less than 12 amperes. So, just check the options, that's it, okay? So, this is one of the previous year questions only. They have asked in the gate examination, okay? So, 10 amperes. If you see the options, then you can get. Otherwise, you may miss this question, okay? So, 10 amperes will be the correct answer, okay? So, for example, okay? So, 12 amperes also there, okay? So, 12 amperes also there. Then, then also 10 amperes only correct here, okay? So, otherwise, let's change the condition, okay? So, it is known that the 60 volt source is neither absorbing nor giving any power, okay? That means, so the current here is zero, understanding? The current here is zero. That means, I current is equals to 12. That's it, okay? So, same condition only, they can modify, okay? So, like 60 volt source is neither absorbing, okay? I'm just modifying the question a little bit, okay? So, neither absorbing nor giving the power. That means, current in this branch is equals to zero, okay? Current in this branch equals to zero means 12 amperes will be going like this and it will be circulating like this, okay? So, that means, at that time, we can answer, answer is 12 okay so now answer is for this question is 10 amperes okay next question in the given circuit the value of v1 and v2 respectively are okay so v1 and v2 they are asking okay so whenever you see the dependent source okay so don't get any fear okay so dependent sources also some of the easiest questions we will be getting okay so let's observe what we are getting here so they are asking about v1 value and v2 value okay so v1 and v2 where is v1 v1 is here v2 v2 is here okay so that means across two current sources we need to have the voltages that's it okay so one side voltage and another side also voltage we need okay so you observe one thing here four ohms is there i current is going and the same four ohms another one is there there is no other branch definitely so same current will flow here or not i current only will flow here also understanding so because same four amperes no other element in between okay so in between these two parallel okay so there is no other element voltage across this otherwise you can do like this okay so voltage from here to here is i into four okay so four i will be the voltage from here to here four i will be the voltage from here to here also that means what is the current here four i divided by four that means i only will be getting okay similarly voltage from here to here okay so voltage from here to here is nothing but v1 okay so v1 okay so directly v1 equals to 4i okay v1 equals to 4i okay so we can write down directly okay so v1 equals to 4i okay we need to calculate the i value that's it okay no other thing okay so one more thing we can do here okay so just observe one thing here value is 2i okay so value is 2i okay so 2i so here current is i we got already so that means so 2i is going like this I is going like this, I is going like this. So, how much current must come like this, okay? So, that means I plus I plus 2I, okay? So, total 4I must come like this, okay? So, 2I plus I plus I, okay? Total 4I. So, what that current source value already they have given here? The current is 4I equals to, okay? So, 4I equals to 5 amperes. So, I equals to 5 by 4, okay? So, I equals to 5 by 4. So, V1 equals to 5 volt. Okay. So, we already got the answer. Okay. So, V1 equals to 5 volt. We already got the answer. So, but even V2 we can find out. How we can find out the V2? So, V2 is nothing but 4i into 4. Okay. So, in this direction we are going 4i into 4 plus 4i. Okay. So, 4i, 4i into 4. V2 equals to 4i into 4 plus 4i. Okay. So, 4 i, 4 into 4 i, okay. So, i into 4, okay. So, in this loop, we have calculated, okay. So, total it is 16 i plus 4 i. So, it is 20 i, okay. So, i value is 5 by 4, okay. So, 20 into 
5 by 4 is equals to so what you will be getting so 4 ones so 4 5 so okay 5 5 25 volt okay so this is a v2 okay so directly we can calculate okay so this is the one okay so otherwise even more simple ways also there to solve this question so first we can find out the ratio okay so just check the options v1 is to v2 is 1 is to 3 v1 is to v2 is we cannot calculate here 0 okay so directly v1 is to v2 is no no integer value here okay so v1 is to v2 is nothing but 1 is to 5 okay first to find the ratio without calculating anything okay first to find out the ratio okay so here v2 is okay so v2 is 4 16i plus 16i plus 4i 20i it is okay so similarly here v1 is equals to already we got 4i okay so v1 equals to 4i v2 equals to 20i okay so ratio only we need okay so v2 equals to 20i okay so directly we can get so 1 is to 5 as the ratio okay so v1 is to v2 equals to 1 is to 5 and also we can do this is the answer for this question okay so next question a network contains linear resistors and ideal voltage sources if values of all the resistors are doubled then the voltage across each resistor is okay so they are asking about so a network is containing a linear resistors and ideal voltage sources okay so if values of all the resistors are doubled then voltage across the each resistor is okay just take one example okay whenever this model of question okay so this is general question okay so that that means they are not asking about any circuit it may be parallel circuit or series circuit or any other circuit or it may be very big network but it is having only linear resistors and ideal voltage sources okay so the, then let's take only one thing okay so let's take only one resistor of one ohm and i am connecting 10 volt this is the circuit that's it so what is the voltage across this one ohm means it will be 10 volt okay so we got 10 volt is the voltage okay no problem whenever resistance value is doubled okay so a network contains lean resistors if values of all the resistors are doubled okay that means i am making it as two okay so then what will happen voltage will be 10 volt only okay voltage will be 10 volt only so that means current what will happen previously if one ohm is there current is 10 amperes okay so 10 divided by 1 is 10 now whenever 2 ohms is there 10 divided by 2 is 5 amperes that means current is getting changed but voltage will never change okay if it is 10 ohm if it is 10 ohm okay so then what will happen voltage is voltage is 10 volt only but current will be 1 ampere okay that means current is changing but voltage is not changing okay so whenever resistance values are getting doubled okay so resistance value is changing current will be changed voltage will not be changed okay so anyhow here what they are asking the resistors are doubled okay so the values of resistors are doubled then the voltage across each resistor is okay so here we have taken only one resistor for easy analysis okay so if you want we will take more okay so why why to take only one circuit okay so let's take one and another one okay so let's take like this okay so this is two ohms this is one ohm okay so this is uh, 3 ohms okay so this also we will take it as uh, 2 ohms okay so that means these two are connected in series uh, and this is uh, connected in parallel to this okay so i am taking only one voltage source uh, which is of uh, 6 volt okay so 6 volt i am connecting like this okay so that means voltage across this resistor is uh, 6 volt voltage across these two resistances uh, is uh, 6 volt that means uh, 6 volt will be divided between these two as a uh, uh, wherever higher resistance is there there you will be getting higher voltage that means here 4 volt will get here 2 volt will get here 6 volt okay this is the voltage distribution happening okay so now what they are asking okay so we will double okay so we will double okay so whenever you double okay so whenever you double the resistance that means it will be 4 it will be 2 whenever it will be doubled 4 okay so then how is the voltage distribution same okay across these two terminals 6 volt already connected okay so what is the voltage 6 volt okay so again same distribution will be there 4 volt here and 2 volt here okay so any circuit whether it is series circuit or parallel circuit so the voltages will never change okay so these two are in series 
not changing okay so these two are in parallel okay so but not changing okay so any circuit whenever you change the resistance values so current value will change okay but voltage value will never change okay so what they are asking then the voltage across each resistor is okay so each resistor across the voltage will not change okay so the next question impedance z as shown in the figure is okay so as shown in figure is impedance z we need to calculate equivalent impedance okay so directly it is a series circuit we can observe it is a series circuit but it is having some mutual inductances okay so mutual inductances it is having so whenever mutual inductance problem is there okay so we have to check the current direction okay so let's take this as the current direction so then at this impedance okay so at this impedance current is leaving or entering okay so current is leaving or entering see at the dot current is leaving at the dot current is entering at the dot current is entering same direction okay same direction current is entering here okay so anyhow let's observe one thing okay so he at this at this reactance or impedance current is leaving here it is entering so between these two if any connection is there mutual connection is there it will be aiding or opposing okay so that means you observe here it is leaving here it is entering okay it is a it is opposing okay so both impedances are opposing or both inductances are opposing okay so similarly so this is entering and this is entering okay so current direction we need to observe okay so entering and entering okay similarly be between these two there will be so aiding okay so aiding so why to give all these things okay so we need to find out in a similar way okay so i will give you one method okay you follow that method and you can solve okay so first j5 okay so you have to travel from this node to this node okay so this terminal to this terminal you have to travel okay so first j5 okay so j5 so any mutual inductances are there yes mutual inductances are there so with other one okay so j2 with j2 it is having mutual okay so mutual connection is there how much is the mutual inductance j10 okay so j10 value we need to give aiding or opposing okay it is leaving it is entering okay so this is minus okay over this this element is over now okay so next this element okay so this element first self inductance okay so this is j2 okay so j2 now any mutual is there mutual is present okay so j10 it is aiding or opposing okay here entering here also entering okay so no problem plus j10 okay so this element is over next this element okay so this element value is j2 self inductance okay so next any mutual is there with this yes mutual two are there okay so one and second one okay so what is the first one it is aiding or opposing opposing okay so this is leaving and this is entering okay so minus j10 okay so next with this okay this is aiding or aiding or opposing so this is entering this is also entering so plus j10 okay so completely this is the impedance z okay so we have to calculate so minus j10 plus j10 will be cancelled here so here minus j10 and here plus j10 will be cancelled so then the remaining okay so what is the remaining j5 okay so plus j2 plus j2 okay so total it will be j9 okay so this is the one okay otherwise even with the series formula also we can do okay so j9 will be the answer for this question okay so series formula also we can do what it is between these two okay so between these two it can be written as j5 plus j2 okay so j5 plus j2 so it is opposing right okay so minus so minus j2 times of so this 10 okay so minus j2 times of 10 like that we can write okay so but no need okay so no need of all this so whenever like this they have given follow in this method okay so this is for the first element okay so this is for the second element this is for the third element okay so how you have to confirm this is for the first one second one third one see self inductance one and how many dots are there okay how many connections are there okay so that many mutual okay so here self one okay so plus mutual only one connection okay so two okay so this element self one okay so self one plus mutual two connections okay so total three okay so you will not miss anything okay so j9 will be the answer for this question okay so the next question 
in the circuit shown power supplied by the voltage source is okay power supplied by the voltage source okay so supplied means we need to find out the current here first then that current you have to calculate so then uh, current we have to calculate and multiply with the voltage you will get the power okay so anyhow power values all are 0 5 10 and 100 watts only okay that means current direction whatever it may be okay so no problem for us we need to find out the magnitude of current here okay so we can observe one thing here one ampere current is going like this and two ampere current is going like this at this node okay so total current will be 3 amperes in this direction okay so 3 amperes so you observe one thing whenever in a circuit okay so two current sources are available whenever in a circuit two current sources are available then immediately assume one current okay so i have already assumed here as i equal i here current okay so then immediately what we can do so whenever at this node okay so i current will come and three amperes will come then current will be 3 plus i okay so 3 plus i here also so here what is the current so 3 plus i current will come here and 1 ampere will go okay so then what is the current 2 plus i current will go in this direction i current will go like this so 2 amperes will go like this that means easily we can write out one write down one complete equation okay so that means where is the closed loop now okay so where is the closed loop so that closed loop we can find out the so one equation okay so that's it we will get the answer okay so now see car wherever current source is there we cannot write down the kvl equation okay so here voltage we don't know here also voltage we don't know without these two elements we need to find out the closed loop okay so let's give it like this okay so in this direction we can give like this okay so you can write in the clockwise or anti-clockwise any direction okay so but first of all now i will decide okay so i will i want to write down in anti-clockwise direction okay so i have seen minus first okay so minus 10 okay so minus 10 so next 3 plus i into 1 okay so i have seen wherever current enters it is plus it is minus okay so plus 3 plus i into 1 okay so 3 plus i into 1 plus again 1 ohm okay so 3 plus i into 1 okay so here current direction is like this wherever current enters that is plus wherever current leaves that is minus okay so then again here 2 plus i okay so current here is 2 plus i 2 plus i into 1 okay so again plus 2 plus i into 2 plus i into 1 okay so that's it okay so it will be over equals to 0 y equals to 0 algebraic sum of the currents at a no algebraic sum of the voltages okay so these are all voltages algebraic sum of the voltages in a closed path is equals to 0 according to kvl okay so anyhow you can simplify this one all are 1 ohms only you can write down as i plus i plus i plus i 4 i will be there okay so 4 i 4i so minus 10 it is okay so minus 10 uh, remaining will calculate okay so 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 2 okay so 8 8 plus 2 is 10 okay so minus 10 plus 10 okay so equals to 0 what is the value of i okay so i equals to 0 okay so that means it is i current we got it as 0 okay so i equals to 0 we got that means this voltage source is delivering zero power okay so power supplied by the voltage source is equals to zero watts okay so like this we can answer okay so the next question two magnetically coupled inductive coils have q factors q1 and q2 at the chosen operating frequency their respective resistances are r1 and r2 when connected in series their effective q factor at the same operating frequency is okay so they are asking about so two magnetically coupled inductive coils have q factors okay so two coils are having q factors q1 and q2 at the chosen operating frequency that means at some frequency they are having so this q factors q1 and q2 their respective resistances are r1 and r2 when connected in series okay so when connected in series okay so their respective q factor at the same operating frequencies okay they are asking whenever they are connected in series what is the combined q factor that's what they are asking okay so anyhow whenever for a coil okay so for the coil means 
coil means inductance will be there and similarly some resistance also will be there okay so coil means inductance will be there and resistance also will be there q factor we can give it as omega l divided by r okay so if it is a first coil okay so l1 r1 and q factor also q1 okay so it is omega l1 okay so similarly r1 okay first coil Similarly, for the second coil also we can give, okay. So, coil means some resistance also will be there, okay. So, with the inductance L2, R2. Similarly, so the Q2 we have to write down, okay. So, Q2 equals to omega. See, we are writing as same frequency, okay. So, omega is same, okay. At a chosen operating frequency they have mentioned, okay. So, if they have mentioned as different, then we have to choose different, okay. So, omega L2 divided by r2 okay so this is the second q factor now what they are asking these two we have connected in series so whenever these two we have connected in series you observe inductances will be added okay so inductances l1 l2 will be added and similarly r1 and r2 are added because series connection okay so this combined connection combined combined coil we can represent like this okay so this is l1 plus l2 this is r1 plus r2 okay so l1 plus l2 r1 plus r2 i'm just writing here so this n combined q factor q we can write down as omega into l1 plus l2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so now what they are asking so in terms of q1 and q2 we have to write down okay so not like this in terms of q1 and q2 so what i will do i will take this to inside okay so omega l1 divided by r1 plus r2 similarly omega l2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so we got like this so uh, we know one thing okay so q1 is nothing but omega l1 divided by r1 okay so omega l1 divided by r1 it has to be okay so i will just give you here okay so omega l1 divided by r1 into r1 i am doing okay so r1 plus r2 okay so like this similarly so omega l2 divided by r2 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so like this we are doing so anyhow we can take the common okay so what we can take the common 1 by r1 r2 we can take the common okay so you observe one thing so already we got something okay so we got the answer this is nothing but q1 okay so this is nothing but q2 so directly we can write down as q1 r1 okay so q1 r1 divided by r1 plus r2 plus q2 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so like this we can do anyhow answer we got already q1 r1 plus q2 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so directly relation we need to find out so between so the old q factors okay so q1 and q2 are the so individual q factors of that coil so now combined q factor is q1 q2 q1 r1 plus q2 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so option c is the correct answer for this okay so this is one of the important models okay so previous question it is they have asked in terms of the number in terms of this uh, in terms of this r1 r2 and the q okay so but in uh, advanced examinations now okay what they are asking in terms of values they will give okay so directly so they will mention the q factor of first coil q factor of second coil now they will ask directly q factor of the combined coil okay so combined coil so then we have to do this okay so they won't give the inductor value or they won't give the any uh, any other frequency okay so directly q factor of first one equals to 10 okay so q factor of second one is equals to 15 okay so 15 uh, resistance of okay so first one is r1 equals to so 5 ohms okay so resistance of r2 equals to so it will be 20 ohms okay so then they will ask you to calculate the so combined q factor okay so we need to remember this formula also okay so these are important model only okay so the next question in the given circuit each resistor has a value equal to 1 ohm what is the equivalent resistance across the terminals a and b okay so without whenever you see this model of questions okay so you understood already 
so this is delta connection inside after that star connection will come after that again delta connection will come okay so parallel connection also will be there so you have to solve okay so without checking anything without wasting the time how to solve this kind of questions okay so one ohm one ohm one ohm okay so when connected in delta connection okay so what you will be getting star connection of one into one okay so whenever it is delta connection like this one 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 okay so here resistance is one into one divided by one plus one plus one means 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 you will get, okay. So, no need to solve again, you know, directly we need to get here one branch, okay. So, this branch I am just writing, okay. So, here 1 ohm and the next 1 by 3, okay. So, similarly here also we will get, okay. Here also we will get like this, okay. So, 1 plus 1 by 3 is nothing but, so 1 plus 1 by 3 you will be getting as 4 by 3, okay. So, 1 plus 1 by 3 is 4 by 3, okay. So, here 4 by 3, 4 by 3, 4 by 3 you are getting, okay. No problem. Okay, 4 by 3, 4 by 3, 4 by 3. Okay, so 4 by 3, 4 by 3, 4 by 3. Okay, so if whenever three resistances of same values are connected in a star connection, if you want to convert into delta, okay, so what you will be getting? So 4 by 3, 4 by 3, 4 by 3 you are, get, you are having means 4 you will get directly. Okay, so if you want you can solve. So otherwise directly 4 by 3 into 4 by 3. Okay, so 4 by 3 into... 4 by 3 plus similarly 4 by 3 into 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 into 4 by 3 divided by so if you want resistance here opposite one okay so 4 by 3 in everything 1 4 by 3 will be cancelled so then 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 plus 4 by 3 so 3 into 4 by 3 4 you will get okay so nothing to worry so directly you have to answer this kind of questions okay so you will get as 4 okay so now the combined circuit okay so this is 1 ohm and uh, next one is uh, this is also 1 ohm, this is also 1 ohm, we need a resistance between A and B terminals, okay. So, here we got, okay, so this is 4, this is 4, this is 4, okay. So, now 1 in parallel with 4, okay, so 1 in parallel with 4, 1 in parallel with 4, okay. So, 1 is parallel with 4 means 4 by 5, 4 by 5, 4 by 5, okay. So, here 4 by 5, here 4 by 5, here 4 by 5, okay, so like that you will be getting okay so just in exam you have to solve without any waiting okay so you just try to solve this one immediately you will be getting okay so 4 by 5 now these two 4 by 5s are in series you observe these two are the terminals we need okay so but these two terminals so we don't need at all okay so these two terminals between we don't need anything so these two are connected in series only okay so now okay so whenever after changing okay so these two are connected in series 4 by 5, 4 by 5. So, what is the equivalent? So, 2 into 4 by 5 means series connection, okay. So, 8 by 5 you will be getting, okay. So, 8 by 5, 8 by 5 in parallel with 4 by 5, okay. So, 8 by 5 in parallel with 4 by 5, okay. So, just try to solve this one. 4 by 5 into 8 by 5 divided by 4 by 5 plus 8 by 5, okay. So, 4 by 5, I will take the 1 by 5 comma, then you will get, so, 12, okay. So, 12. So, 1 by 5 and 1, 1 by 5 will be cancelled. So, 4 into 8, okay. So, 4 into 8. Otherwise, we can uh, we can cancel, okay. So, 4 1s and 4 3s, okay. So, 8 by 8 by, okay. So, 5 is there and 3 is there directly 15, okay. So, option is there 8 by 15, okay. No problem, okay. Option D is the correct answer for this, okay. So, whenever this model of question, it's the simple only. Only calculation time it will be taking, okay. So, definitely in fast you have to do this question, okay. So, otherwise it will take too much time for the examination, okay. So, anyway, this is the question. So, in our next session, we will come up with the different unit and similarly one by one subject, everything we will discuss, okay. So, all the best everyone. Thank you so much.